I, my name is Tyler Newman. I live in Canton, Georgia, and I'm going to be uh, showing you how to tie a fly called the Moro. It's an old English fly. It's used to imitate a moth in the late evening. It works great for trout and bluegill. I've caught some crappy with it too. So you can tie it from right. What I have right now is a size 14 long. You can tie it down from a size 8 to a 14. So that's what it works best on for me. You just take some sort of brown thread, doesn't really matter what kind. Just wrap it around down to the bend. So. Then use some, a little bit of uh, some thin, small copper wire. Wrap it around. Wrap the bend. And use some brown dubbing. Doesn't matter too much what it is as long as it floats and it's kind of darker brown. You want to put it on to where it's not too tightly twisted onto the thread where it's still a little fluffy. Strap it down about two thirds of the bit of the hook shank. Want it to be a little fluffy so it'll float easier. Wrap the copper wire down. <laughs> Stump that off. And for the wing, I use just turkey feather. Cut about three quarters of an inch, a section like that. Even out the tips a little bit. Fold it over in half. I want it to come back just past past the bend of the hook. So. And for the antenna, I just have some hackle stalks. Make them about twice the length of the body. Is on there. Then get some hackle. Uh, I want to pull it out a little bit, cut a little bit off, so it'll you can tie it on easier. Stop just before the eye, tie it off, clip it off, and then just use a little, that, uh, don't use whip finish, you could if you wanted I guess, but it doesn't work as well. You want to put it under the antenna to help hold the antenna up so they don't droop down. Do that twice, and then clip it off, and you're done. Ready to go fishing.